Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make stickers with my Cricut Explore 3 for my small business and just for personal uses too. You guys can make stickers with a machine like this for literally anything, for planners, for your own shop, for friends and family, etc. Hey guys, this is editing Caitlin. I realized that I didn't say like what the Cricut machine is, so I just wanted to tell you real quick. It's a cutting machine that you can use a lot of different materials with. Basically, you program the machine to cut specific shapes or patterns out of vinyl, cardstock, paper, sticker paper. I'll list more materials further in this video, but um, through the Cricut Design Space, you can cut literally anything you can imagine up really precisely and make projects with it. So um, I just wanted to clarify that because I didn't really specify. It's not just a sticker machine, like it, it can do a lot more. Also, isn't my hat so cute? <laughs> I'm making bare bucket hats. They'll be released in the second fall launch. I think it's gonna be October 20th, but I'm not totally sure yet. So just stay tuned, follow social medias. This one was my second one, so they'll be better than this one, but they're coming. <laughs> Before we get into the video, I just wanna mention that everything that I mentioned in this video, all the products and stuff will be linked down below. So I wanna give a shout out to our creator of the month, who's Remy, one of my bestest friends. Remy makes such cute content and has some really cool video ideas on the way. So be sure to check out Remy's channel and give them some love. And last but not least, thank you so much to Cricut for sending me supplies and for sponsoring this video. And with all that being said, let me show you how I make stick here are all the sticker designs that I have so I have a mental health matters one and this was my first one this is my favorite one it's it says I eat body shamers for dessert I laminate them so they're water resistant and then here's my most recent one which says, I love toe beans, and it comes in three different colors. <laughs> Organizer, I'll link it down below. I think in the other video I said I'd link them down below, but I forgot to, so I'll, let me let me do that. <laughs> so step one is probably the hardest step, and that is coming up with a sticker design. So for this one, I usually use Pinterest as inspiration. So for example, this one that I just made that I'm releasing today, which, side note, can't decide if I want it in white or purple background. Maybe I'll do both. This one I used this picture from Pinterest as um, inspiration for it and put my own twist on it. This is the Nita hotline and this is the suicide prevention hotline from the US. And I just really love this design. So this is the first design we're printing today. And then we're printing a Packed with Love by Kate sticker so I can put this on my packages. Right now I have this made with love and coffee sticker that just, I love, I love what it says. I just don't vibe with the design because I just don't like the fonts or anything. So um, I wanna make my own sticker. So as you guys can see, I just use Procreate to design my stuff on my iPad and it's really simple. So now I'm just gonna select these, share them as PNGs and save them. And then we can move on to the next step. So now we're going to open up Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, this is my previous project, which was Cat Paws. These are all of them, the I Love Toe Beans stickers. And it shows you like what it looks like on your mat. I'll show you guys how to do it though. So I'm gonna go home, make a new project. They have like free stuff for you to use too. And there's also stuff like if you sign up for the Cricut membership, if you sign up, you can get more designs and stuff if you don't wanna make your own designs. Cause like I said, that's literally the hardest part. So if you're doing this for fun or for presents for people, um, Cricut Design Space has a ton of options. A tip I got for this part, which is where you put your stickers and stuff, is that you can make, I'll have the video that gave me this tip linked down below. It was such a lifesaver. Make a square, unlock the square, Okay, and then edit it and set the dimensions to 6.75 by 9.25. And then lock it again and then move that to the top corner and it looks small, but that's where you can put all your stickers. It'll fit on your printer paper perfectly. And then once you put all your stickers, I'll show you, you can just delete the black square so you know that doesn't interfere with your designs. So I'm gonna upload my designs really quick the self love club sticker first. So this is the design. Like I said, it's a PNG, so it's literally just like a 
The PNG has no background. I just check to make sure that it's all good. There's no spots or anything. You can despeckle or smooth if you want to, if the edges are rough. I might press smooth like one time just to make sure that, I mean, the smoother it is, the quicker it cuts in my opinion. And now it's all set, you just name it. So I'm just gonna name it Self Love Sticker. So I named it and then cut is for usually for vinyl. That's why it's just black because it's just like the outline. So we're gonna do print then cut because we're printing this on a printer first. Then I just press save. Here's my library of designs. I'm gonna select the one I just uploaded, press insert. I've decided I wanna make this sticker probably two inches. So, so have it on the lock. It should just be like that normally. And the longest dimension, I usually do two inches for my stickers, so I just set the longest dimension, which is the length instead of the height for this one. And now I'm just gonna arrange them. So I know there's probably an easier way to do this, but I just like duplicate them into a row. And then I select all three and duplicate the rows. And then that's basically it. It's really simple. And I just line them up on the sheet. Usually I can fit 12 to 16 stickers when they're two inch stickers, but sometimes more, depending. And then there's a little gap at the bottom. I also wanna make, also since this is a new sticker, I need to make a mini one for my sticker organizer because I usually make mini ones. And then that'll be my little label for the sticker organizer. So now that we have all of our stickers in the Cricut Design Space, what I'm gonna do is delete the black background and then flatten them so they're all on one layer. So. I selected them all. Don't do what I did and select each one individually. Just scroll over them. And then you go to actions at the bottom and just press flatten. And it makes it into one continuous layer. And now we press make it. And as you can see, it's on the print and cut setting. This is what it's gonna look like when it's printed on the paper. Now I just press print at the bottom. And then it's already like my printer is Bluetooth and stuff. So it's all set up. I just have to go to my printer and set up my printer really quick. So here's my Cricut and Craft Corner. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have a ton of stuff over here. It's not the most organized, but it's it will do. So we're gonna get my printer set up. So basically, I just use sticker paper from online labels. I will link it in the description. It's matte sticker paper. I do one sheet at a time usually. The smooth side um, is the side you're printing on, and I have to put that down on the facing down in my printer for it to print. Put in the sticker paper, and like I said for my printer, smooth side down. I don't know if this matters too much, but I usually select specialty paper matte, since I'm using sticker paper, and we're all set. I usually only print one sheet at a time. You can probably print more at a time, but I, I usually only print one sticker sheet at a time. And while we're over here, we'll open our Cricut. Isn't that so fancy how it just opens so slow? Isn't that just like, so, it's like, what's the word? So bougie. <laughs> and then we're gonna turn it on. And it gets all set for us to cut. And now let's print our stickers. Now we're all set, it's all printed. Just double check, make sure there's no issues with the printing, because my printer has been having some issues lately, but these look adorable. I think they turned out so good, and my mini one is so cute. A, I'm cutting, obviously, sticker paper. You guys can cut, like, literally 100 different materials with the Cricut Explore 3. Um, I'll put some of them on the screen that you can cut with. You can literally cut glitter paper, cork, bonded fabric, spe like specialty materials and stuff. It's crazy, the versatility of it. You can even score, which is crazy too. Scoring is like when you don't cut all the way through, but you score it, that's very valuable. So I think that's awesome too. It's great for like making cards and stuff. So now that I have it printed out on the sticker paper, it doesn't look like stickers yet. It just looks like a printed piece of paper. So now I'm just gonna stick it to the mat and you just line it up with the corner, the top left corner. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, I'm pretty sure, but just do your best lining it up. And then I use this little Cricut squeegee. It's like a hard squeegee, but I um, just flatten out the sides in the middle, make sure that it's all lined up. And my mat is a little not sticky, which just happens naturally um, when things stick to it. So I secure it with tape on the corners, just to make sure it doesn't pop up. 
However, you can make them re-sticky. Um, you can just look up the tutorial online and make it sticky again. So I just use a tiny bit of tape on the corners. It doesn't bug me too much. Like I said, I laminate the stickers. So I use this Avery laminate. It has a little easy peel here thing. I just line it up a little inside the borders. You don't want it on this black border because it will interfere since it's shiny when it reads the lines. You guys will see how it lights up and stuff. And then where the black line shows through on the label paper, I mark and I cut a little smaller than where I put the marks. So as you can see, I have a mark at the corner, a mark at this side, and a mark up here. And I'm gonna cut it with my straight edge and then stick it on. So here's my straight edge. So I'm just gonna cut the laminate with my straight edge real quick. Easy peasy. Like I said, I cut it a little shorter than the lines, a little inside the lines, just so it doesn't go over those black marks. And now we have our two size laminate. So it has the easy little peel here. So I peel this off. I got all these material ideas from another video that I'm gonna link down below. Um, both of the videos I watched were really helpful in getting me started on my sticker process. So those will be linked down below, like I said. So I'm gonna just stick this on the bottom and then I'm gonna use the little Cricut squeegee and slowly stick this to the stickers. There we go. And sometimes there's little air bubbles, but usually they flatten themselves out when you cut, just because I think the cut marks like releases the air. So look how good they look. And it's time to cut. My favorite part. <laughs> now in Cricut Design Space, all you literally do is press continue, select your accessory through Bluetooth, and it'll be all ready to cut exactly what you just printed. So I printed it. So I tried the sticker paper setting, but it didn't cut die cut exactly how I want it to because I cut my stickers die cut. Kiss cut is what you'd see in like a sticker sheet. So I do die cut and I've been doing poster board. That might be a little too hard of a setting, but you know, and now we just load it up and it cuts it for us. <laughs> so I just place my mat in, press the load button. It's gonna load it up. Isn't this so cool? You need some space behind your Cricut because it does stick out the back. I think they recommend 10 inches. I don't even know if I have exactly 10 inches, but it works with my mat. So um, I just tested it to make sure. And you press the go button and it'll scan for the black marks that we tried not to cover up. And like I said, this can cut so many different materials. This can also cut smart materials, which means you use this little roller and just cut the material without a mat, which is really cool. But with stickers, you're gonna need to use the mat. So it's scanning for those lines and you can see why the shiny would be an issue. And then it'll kind of jump scare you when it starts to cut, cause it'll just stop and then watch. <laughs> it's so satisfying. And if it doesn't cut evenly, like if your stickers aren't toward the center or some of them are in the center and some of them are off, it's really easy to calibrate it, so you can just print a printer sheet and it'll do cut marks. You just answer questions based on the cut marks um, on your device, whatever device you're using, and it'll calibrate it and cut them perfectly the next time. I haven't had to do it many times, so that's a big bonus because it's not the funnest to have stickers uh, come out cut wrong, but as you can see, it cuts really fast if the edges are smooth. If they're not smooth and they're like jagged, it takes a long time to cut, so you want it as smooth as possible. And you can do the border any color. At first, I thought you had to do the border, but as you saw with some of my stickers, the border does not have to be white, which is really cool. It can add a different dimension to your sticker. It's only been like two minutes and it's already basically done. So it's very quick and I'm gonna show you guys what it turns out like. There we go. <laughs> Here they are. They're stickers now. And all I have to do is press the unload button, but I'm gonna need two hands for that. So now it's time to just collect our stickers. Okay guys, now is the most satisfying part after cutting it. And that is taking the extra off the mat. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about these stickers. They turned out even better than I thought they would. Um, if they stick in, you can just press them down. Here we go. There's a little spatula that Cricut has to get them off the mat because when you first get your mat, it's super sticky, but mine's like the perfect stick amount right now. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys this up close. Look how adorable the tiny one is. 
They'll definitely be available on Etsy by the time this video is up if you want to snag one. So this little drawer is going to be their new home. I just need to stick the tiny sticker on the front. Here they all are. Admit one to the self-love club. And here's their little drawer. And we're all set. We made our stickers. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Cricut for sending me products and sponsoring this video. I've wanted a Cricut for probably five years now and finally got one. It like, it just makes me so happy that they've decided to support me and help me expand my small business. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, comment them down below and I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys.